So we got another question here from the Travis Homan. How would property rights uh, be protected in Texas if you're elected as governor or gubernator? We might say gubernator. So first I would point out that property rights are not protected now. The state of Texas has this thing called eminent domain, whereby they just take whatever property they want, pay you what they think you deserve for it, and do whatever they want. Uh, then there's also, uh, what is it, uh, civil asset forfeiture? Is that where the, the cops steal your money when they think you're involved in a crime? Right? That's where they steal it, yeah. yeah. Where they're like, hey, actually, not even if they think you're involved in like a crime, but also in like a misdemeanor. Mm -hmm. Like, huh, you have more than $10,000 cash. Clearly that must be evil yeah. money, blood money. Yep. Hmm. Uh, wh how, what else? Oh, property taxes. If you own property, they literally just rob you. They take your property once a year. Uh, sales tax. They take a portion of every single peaceful transaction you have with every other human in Texas. Uh, anyway, you get the idea. Your, your private property is anything but protected now. If anything, it is completely unprotected. It is, it is up to the whims of the political ruling class here what property of yours you get to keep at any one point in time, and they can change the rules pretty much whenever they want. And your personal consent has no bearing on the issue. Um, in a free society, no one would have the right to do that. You would have the right to defend yourself from people wanting to tax your property. You would have the right to hire people to help you prevent thieves from stealing from you on the highways when you're driving around peacefully. People would have the ability to group together and pool their resources to hire groups of people to protect them from such atrocities as is, is, is lawfully um, exhibited on us daily here. It's like, it's like protect it. It's kind of redefining crime as moral and then like yeah. well, be, if we do it it's fine yeah people forget that you're not protected now they're like how is it going to work in a free society well it's not working now that's the first point i always make it's not working in fact it's unworking it's the opposite of working now you're it's a matter of course that you're robbed and extorted and stolen from and attacked all the time like I've got, I've, <laughs> I don't know if I should talk about this publicly, but I've got, uh, I, I've got a warrant for my arrest in the city of Addison, Texas, because I rolled through a stop sign <gasps> a couple years ago in the middle of the night. The only car around was the cop in a parking lot. Oh my gosh. You rolled through a stop sign? They will literally use force and attack me and put me in a cage for a victimless, a completely victimless crime. In order to keep you safe? To keep me safe, they will chase me down, they will point guns at me if I resist, and throw me in a, in a cage. And if I resist hard enough, they will end my life to keep me safe. You're not protected now. You're, you're attacked constantly now. <laughs> you are constantly in danger now. I actually, whenever I was on my way here just the other day, I was coming over to film something and I'm driving along one of the highways and I'm just, you know, doing my thing, driving in the center lane. There's like four lanes on this particular stretch of road. And all of a sudden, vroom, someone cuts me off. I'm like, whoa, what was that? Because they, they were in the far right lane and then they cut across the person that was kind of to my right, you know, maybe a car length behind. Then they cut me off with like less than three feet of distance. And then I look back and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's a cop. Uh oh. He, yeah, it's a cop who just cut off two people, almost caused two accidents because both of us hit the brakes. Like we were like, good thing we were really locked on the road. Oh, uh, you better call that. the cops. <laughs> so that's what I did. <laughs> oh, you did. I called them and I said, hello, my name is Kaysen. I'd like to file a complaint. Do you have a form? Because one of your officers nearly killed someone. And they're like, what do you mean? And I explained the exact same situation. They're like, oh, there's some debris on the shoulder. He's going to keep people safe. And I'm like, that's cool. I'm glad he's going to move the debris, <laughs> but he almost killed me. <laughs> and they're like, sir, there's no reason to, uh, what's the word, hyperbolize, uh, stretch stretch the truth or what? Oh. I wish I had this call recorded. Yeah. And I wish I had a little dash cam recording that because then I could at least be like, there he is. Like, if, if I had done that to him, I can't imagine what would have happened to me if I had done that to him. And then he'd, you know, pulled me over and been like, sir, you were driving unsafely. Well, I'm just doing what you're doing to me. I, I don't know what the big deal is. I mean, treat, on, treat others as you'd want them to treat you, right? And what would have happened if you'd have resisted and just kept driving? And what would have happened if he asked you to step out of your car and you said no? To keep you safe, 
You're in danger. They're willing to murder you. That's you a are not protected now.